If you have one of these uh, Honda uh, super quiet generators, uh, specifically the EU2200i series, uh, this is the companion, which can be paralleled with the regular Honda uh, generator. But this is a 2020 model. And if you're looking to uh, put on an extended run fuel system for these, uh, they, these uh, generators only have about a one gallon uh, fuel tank. So they, uh, if you're running uh, only at like idle or quarter, uh, quarter load, I think you can get seven or eight hours of runtime out of it. If you're running like an air conditioner or something that's putting a load on the generator, then uh, you might only get three or four hours. So if you want to avoid having to get up in the middle of the night and uh, refill a gas tank or something, you might be looking at an extended run system. And there's a, uh, a guy on uh, YouTube, 65 Ford, it's all spelled out S-I-X-T-Y-F-I-V-E-F-O-R-D. He has a great video showing how to uh, modify the gas cap on these uh, very inexpensively to make an extended run system. And I was uh, following his instructions I, and I, uh, I actually ordered two extra gas caps because I wanted to keep the original ones uh, in case I didn't want to use the extended run system. But uh, the gas caps that you might be able to buy on eBay or Amazon that already have the uh, uh, the nipple for the quarter inch gas line on uh, built into it or uh, they may not work for this particular model this year. If your model is, uh, if it's one of these newer ones and as you can look on the uh, sticker here, if your serial number starts with E-A-M-T, E-A-M-T, uh, then it's got a different gas cap than the previous models had. I'm going to show you one here. Uh, it's got kind of a gray on off switch on the top. Uh, these gas caps are different and I don't know what all the differences necessarily are, but uh, if you buy one of the uh, aluminum gas caps on eBay that are set up for to accommodate an extended run system, uh, the reviews I was reading is that you don't get a good seal and you need a perfect airtight seal uh, from the generator uh, to the gas tank. Once you drop the line into the gas tank, you're fine. You don't have to have a seal at the uh, auxiliary tank, gas tank, but uh, everything else has to be sealed perfectly. These generators have a fuel pump in them, but it's not a real powerful pump. And uh, if you don't have an air, a completely airtight seal along the pathway of the fuel line, it'll suck air and you will not be able to draw the fuel uh, to your generator. So you have to have a, a, a perfect seal. So I don't know if it's the threads or if it's the depth of the threads in these uh, that are different from the other gas caps. But if you look on, I think it's called HondaPowerSportsParts.com. HondaPowerSportsParts.com. They have, and if you look under the EU series of generators, uh, and maybe some others too, they have great, you can look up your serial number and your model, and they've got great uh, blow-ups of the different generators. And you can see that the all the gas caps for the EAMT serial number uh, series of generators, the gas cap part number is different from all the others. And here's the part number. It's 176Z44A30. These are the This is the part number for uh, th these newer series of Honda quiet generators. Uh, I bought these through this outfit called Parts Pack and paid uh, $24.26 uh, for each cap. I, I bought two because I'm going to parallel two generators together and I don't want to, uh, I want to I want to join them. So there is some sh uh, shipping on top of that. It was $13.45 shipping for these two caps. And these are the caps. And you can easily, if you look on 65 Fords, uh, uh, YouTube video he shows you how to how these come apart it's real simple there's just a little cotter pin and then these pieces the stem and and the spring and all these parts come out come apart uh, you know this is what it looks like in the original form but uh, once you pull those apart uh, 65 Ford talks about building a very simple uh, extended run system uh, I bought this on eBay. I think he 
that's where he got his also. It's a Briggs and Stratton. It's, uh, it's got uh, pipe thread, really uh, fine pipe thread on the bottom. And then it's got the quarter inch barbed end for the fuel line on that side. What 55 Ford or 65 Ford uh, did in his video was he took a gas cap and he just, because the opening in the, in the top of the cap is uh, just slightly smaller than the threads on these uh, valves, uh, he drilled it out to 2364. Then he took a uh, 3 8 inch, I believe it was a 3 8 inch, uh, bolt with uh, pipe thread, real fine pipe thread on it. He used that to, you know, uh, go into the hole, to the opening, to create threads. Since this is just plastic, you wouldn't want to try and do that and do it with plastic. He created threads with that bolt, and then after he did that, he was able to thread this uh, valve into the top of the gas cap and then hook up a, a quarter-inch gas line to that, and he had his extended run system. Just drop the gas line into a bigger fuel tank, uh, either, you know, five, six gallon, whatever, and you were good to go. Um, like I said, these, uh, those caps, though they don't seal right, number one, so you need to, uh, you might get a good seal, but it's, it, what I read, it's real hit and miss. So uh, you can take your chance if you want to, but uh, if you want to be sure, you should probably either use the original gas cap that's on your generator, or do what I did and buy an, ex an extra set of gas caps and then modify them. So here's the what, I, what it looks like to me is the biggest difference. The gas caps that 65 Ford shows, he drills out uh, the opening on the top, but that opening is much more flush to the top of the, of the uh, cap itself. These new ones, the opening is indented in a probably, it looks like about a half an inch or so. So, if I were to try and take uh, this valve after I drilled it out and thread it into there, because the, the stem on this valve that has the threads isn't much more than maybe a half inch, if that, uh, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't have enough threads to get down into that opening to create a good seal. So what I had to do is uh, find a way to extend that, uh, extend something beyond the opening. So what I found is, at, well, I found this one at actually at Home Depot it was about three and a half bucks, but then I found one at Menards uh, that was only about a buck and a half, and that's this one here. It's a Sioux Chief brand brass pipe, but this is a, a one inch. Uh, I'm sorry, one eighth inch MIP by one eighth inch MIP. It's just called a, a hex. Uh, I think it's called like a hex nipple. So that's one eighth inch by one eighth inch hex nipple, and so. I drilled this out first, well, it's 2364, but I started out with two steps uh, smaller of a drill bit. First I did a, uh, I don't know what the size was, but it was two steps smaller. I drilled it out uh, with that first, then I went up to the next one, just because when you drill these, you gotta be real careful and go real slow. I only wanted to go uh, in as far as these threads. So that's only, you know, about maybe three eighths of an inch of threads. Uh, so I put some tape on the drill bit to make sure I didn't go all the way through to the other end. And uh, you can see the other end here. But um, So I put some tape on there and then I went real slow. I started with a smaller size and I worked up to 2364. Once I got the 2364 hole done, I took the uh, this nipple and I, I threaded it in there to create threads. I used, a, you have to use, a, I think this is a 7 16 socket. And you have to put a lot of downward pressure to get the thread started and create threads. So I put it, you know, screwed that in down to the to the hex uh, bolt part uh, to create the threads. And I took it out. <clears throat> and then uh, some people talk about using Teflon tape. I actually used uh, pipe thread compound. It's more of a paste. I used a uh, uh, toothpick and I took a, a good bunch of that pipe thread compound. I put it into the hole of the plastic gas cap first and tried to coat all of the threads. Uh, and then I also put it on the nipple before I threaded that in. And then I threaded the nipple into the hole. And the reason I did that is you have to have an airtight seal. And as you can see, and see it better from the bottom here, this uh, hole that that, that that stem goes down through, it has a couple of little grooves, one on each side of the hole, and I don't know if that's for venting purposes, exactly what, what the reason for that is, but 
my concern was after I threaded the uh, nipple into there that those, uh, those two grooves would allow air to suck through them. So instead of using Teflon tape, I used this pipe thread compound uh, with the thought that that will seal those grooves up as I thread the, the nipple in. So uh, I haven't been able to test this yet, but I think it's got a good seal on there and uh, that should work. There is another little vent hole. There's, you can't see it. Well, maybe you can right there. From there, and it goes to the bottom of the cap to these three little holes on the edge. Uh, these holes though, when you thread this on, those will be on the outside of the gas tank, not inside. So uh, they shouldn't create any kind of an air leak. It's, it's some kind of venting for, you know, from the outside into the, into the cap, but it's, it's separate from this, uh, this connection here. So once you do that, then uh, the other thing I bought it at, uh, well, I got this at Menards, but this is just a uh, 1 8 inch female international pipe to 1 8 inch female. And what that is is basically just a coupler. Uh, and what that allows you to do, you could either use pipe thread compound or perhaps uh, uh, Teflon tape, but screw that onto the top of the nipple that screws on and then put pipe thread or jump or uh, pipe thread compound or else Teflon tape around maybe the uh, threads of this uh, valve. And then also in there, I guess pipe thread comp, this uh, paste might work a little better to make it seal better. Then you can thread that valve onto there. And then you'll have, uh, you can put your gas line onto the end of that. And that way, if you're, if you want to just use this cap without the extended system, uh, you could pull the gas line off of the, off of the valve and just use it this way and just open or close the, the valve for the venting that you would be necessary for your gas tank. So uh, I hope that gives somebody some options for modifying this uh, uh, a little less expensively. Like I say, you could either use the original gas cap or you could go with, you know, buy a, buy a separate one if you wanted to maintain the integrity of your the first one that comes with it. Um, and either Home Depot, well, I don't, I couldn't find, uh, I couldn't find this piece at Home Depot. I found that at Menards, Sioux Chief. Um, so this coupler or whatever, this eighth inch coupler, female to female, uh, I found that at Menards. So if, uh, if this helps you, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I also, uh, if you know anyone that has a lake property that deals with, uh, a weed problem, tea weeder tool. Uh, I invented that several years ago. Check it out. And uh, I hope this helps.